Hi, I'm Jeff Greenberg, and today we're going to talk about a secret shame I have. My menu bar has way too many icons. The TLDR, I'm going to mention a free utility, Hidden Bar, and the best-in-class utility I know, Bartender 4. Both do the same thing, they clean up your menu bar. So that's what my menu bar actually looks like. It's pretty bad, right? This little carrot here of Hidden Bar controls that. This is a much better look to my screen. When I right click, I'm able to bring up the preferences for the app. And this is what it looks like when you first launch it. All you need to do is hold down the command key and move this little carrot. And I'm gonna do that right now so I can see my iStat menu choices here. That's a lot better. Now when I close and open it, we have that item. What's neat is it's pretty functional as a tool, hidden bar, and it also has the ability to have some always hidden items. You can find it on the App Store by searching for hidden bar, and it's from Dwarves Foundation. Now me, I prefer Bartender 4. It's, I think, right now $16, and that's a bargain for what it does. I'm going to go ahead and quit hidden. I'm going to launch Bartender. And it's cleaned up my menu bar really well. I want to show you a couple of things that I like about it. I'm going to do that by right-clicking here and showing you the preferences. Now, my favorite preference out of the gate is that I don't have to click anything. I can just move my mouse up, and it reveals and hides everything. But I can set it to be a little bit more dynamic, and for example, use the bartender bar to show hidden items. Now, when I come and I click here, you can see it shows up on a pop-under menu. This is fantastic when I'm on a small screen with very little real estate. Another one of my favorite features, the menu bar layout. It has a really visual way for me to say, hey, I want you to show these, always hide these. It's just way more intuitive to me. And it also has the ability to have spacers to make it really super easy for me to bring these into groups. So for example, I've got a group of my professional applications, my file sharing, like Dropbox, they were all grouped together. It makes it way more intuitive for me. And if I'm lost for a given item, I can do a quick search for any of the items in my menu bar. And all of that can be driven with hotkeys. For $16, it's a killer tool. So that's how you can clean up your menu bar to your needs, both with free utilities like Hidden Menu and the best of class Mac Bartender. I'm Jeff Greenberg. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and feel free to ask questions in the comments.